Good morning, John. Good morning. We've just woken up and first cast of the day, I've hooked this cracking salmon, probably two kilos there, if not a bit bigger. Look at these conditions. Let's run back out, have a few more casts, see if we can pull a couple more. All right. Got a 4000 Stratic CI4 Plus and a Savage Gear Salt rod. Uh, it's a nine foot, six to 10 kilo. And I'm running a Gillies Metal Lure. I reckon this is about 50 or 60 gram. I've chucked a single hook on it. So let's see if we can get some more. Set up just behind us. All right, cast as far as you can. I can't see any schools because the sun's pretty much about 40 degrees from us. And I'm just doing a straight wind. It's such a pristine day. Water's crystal clear. Every wave that goes over, you can see right through it. Like it's just pure glass. And it, the sun's out. There's not a cloud in sight. All we need now is just another salmon. Oh. <laughs> Just dropped one. Only felt small. Yep, there's another one. Feels like a good fish as well. Yep, sure is. <laughs> All right, let's land this one. Oh yeah, it's another good, good fish. Yep, just on that metal lure, casting it straight in front of the car. If I look behind, there's John having a bit of breakfast. <laughs> This one's another two to three kilo fish. Oh, come on, buddy. And salmon, they never give up when they fight. Even when I get it on land, it will continue to keep fighting. Another horse of a salmon. Look at that. Woo! Just running 20 pound leader as well. But that there is a cracking fish. Oh. Look at that. Just on the metal lure. Awesome stuff. Get the hook out of him. And that's why I use single hooks because single hooks are so much easier to unhook the fish and it also stays hooked whereas trebles they can easily shake them there's that metal lure out and we're going to bleed this guy if you 
don't like anything gruesome, don't watch the next part because I'm going to bleed it. A lot of people have asked me to show you them how, so here we are. All right, so there's the salmon. You flip him upside down like that. Put your two, so the peace sign, just underneath the gills, like that. Dig it right in, grab the body, and pull back as fast as you can. Just like that. And you snap it all the way so that it dies. And as you can see, it's bleeding. And that gets rid of all the blood in the fillets. And they taste so much better. And it also kills them humanely. Seems like there is a school in front of us. Let's get the baits or the lure straight back out. See if we can pull another one. Alright, well we've been casting for a fair bit and I reckon if there was a school, it has moved off. So, with the two salmon, I'm going to show you how to fillet them. But I reckon John's already on to one, so I'll show you how to fillet the one I just caught. That is a good fish. But, as you can see, there's a lot of blood. That's because I bled it. And the meat will be a bit whiter than usual. Did you fill it, the other one? Nice. Can you? Okay. Alright, there's the two salmon we just caught this morning. So, I'm going to show you how to fill it, skin, and get rid of all the bones. So, what you want to do is get the filleting knife, tuck it just behind the pectoral fin, just on a little angle like that cut downwards. Now because I've left the scales on, it is a bit hard to cut through. But once you reach the spine, you just rotate it to a 90 degree angle and just slowly work your way down the spine. Angle, it, angle the knife a little bit down so you can feel the spine. And just work along the spine. All the way to the tail, cut it off like that. Look at that fillet. So not a lot of wheat, meat was wasted. And if you run your finger across it, you can feel the spine. So you flip it over, do the same on the other side. Just like that. There's two lovely fillets. And there's a, hopefully a meatless frame. But there is still a little bit of meat, so we'll throw it out into the ocean. And hopefully the bronzies come and eat it. And then, you wanna get the fillet. And to skin it, you go to the back end, the tail end. Just cut a small incision until you reach the skin. Just like that. And as you can see, the skin is slowly coming off. And you just want to angle it down once again, but hold the skin tight and push the knife up and down whilst you go down. As you can see, the skin's just coming right off. So work your way all the way down the fillet. Doesn't matter if it cuts the stomach off because we're going to cut it off anyways. just like that there's a bit of the stomach but like I said let's cut the stomach off because that's where all the bones are there we go there's a boneless fillet and we'll wash it in the salt water out there time to do the rest so I hope this video helped and I hope you enjoyed this quick morning session stay tuned for next week's video which will be another kangaroo island one Cheers.